ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Amen. For all of the build-up and everything that's been going on, now we're getting to the heart of the drama. You know what? You are protecting... Just stand back! It's kind of like Cain and Abel, really. Stitched me up. You know full well I didn't do anything wrong! The two warring brothers. Would you please take him away? Ryan, uh doesn't really want to go to the funeral at all. Uh, Faye comes to see him. The last thing that family wants is for you to be there, and that's why you must be. So he, he turns up at the funeral, and uh, Nathan's there, obviously, his evil little brother. And for him to turn and see Ryan suddenly there, I think a, a lot of it just boils to the surface. Well, who's allowed like this? Sit down. Ryan doesn't go with the intention of causing trouble. He's not really the trouble-causing type. Maisie. Will you come and see me, please? I need to talk to you. Leave her alone, Ryan. Please. You're making a fool of yourself. The anger and venom and aggression that comes from Nathan is almost enough to show the village his true colours, but hopefully not too much. No, please. I think you're fine. They can. Maisie, please, look. You know he did it. It wasn't me. Please, you've got to believe me. Leave me alone! Despite what Nathan's sort of showing, he's an absolute nervous wreck. And so the moment that Ryan says that he's been framing him, I mean, it all starts to... This is the beginning of the crumbling of the under sort of side of Nathan. And so he's going to be pushed right to the edge. You're going to see a more vulnerable, more dangerous and uh, potentially more volatile side of Nathan. He totally believes that Nathan uh, is responsible for the murder. So he's more than happy to see Nathan go down for it. I know Nathan's your brother and it's hard to accept, but so am I. OK, and... And if you believe me, then you've got to believe that I've been set up. Maisie's in a really difficult position um, in terms of Ryan and, and Nathan. He loved him. Why have we done? Maisie, it's the only answer that is possible. And you're the only person that can help me. Nathan's main concern is to keep Maisie on his side. But with everything that's gone on, I think this is the beginnings of the fragility of their family relationship. Do you not think we've got enough to worry about? I don't know. You tell me. He knows that he has a way of getting around Maisie, whether that means emotionally or just another sort of devious plan, but I don't think he's aware of quite what Maisie's up to. I don't care what you said. My life is being torn apart, and I'm going to go to the police, and I'm going to tell them everything. I don't think Nathan can wait for the moment when Ryan finally goes down. Everything that he, Nathan's been building up to is all aimed towards getting Ryan to go to prison. I don't know quite well, how it's going to play out with, with Ryan, if he's going to come out and be an evil monster or if he's going to be... But he's, he's definitely going to be different. He's definitely going to be a changed man. Um, and he's got to give Nathan his comeuppance at some point.